living a life of abundance is something that I really think is important and many people that don't make it in life or maybe they had dreams and they gave up on their dreams for a lot of reasons being around the wrong environment being around the wrong people having the wrong spouse that limits their beliefs and just being around the wrong circle in general they give up on their dreams and they s stop wanting a life of abundance and this is very important at least for me so at least for me like I want to live a life of abundance like why why have one Ferrari when you could have two Ferraris when you could have three Ferraris five Ferraris seven Ferraris why have one Rolls Royce why why not get the watch that you like why like why not like why not live in Bel Air why why not dictate the life you want like why not drink whenever you want to drink why not drink when you don't want to drink why not be fat and happy if you're fat and happy then enjoy being fat and happy that's nothing wrong with that like I enjoyed being fat like for a little bit and then I decided I want to be in shape so like stop trying to just act like you don't care about certain things because you do because if you didn't care then then you wouldn't have tried and failed and then gave up so my point is live a life of abundance whatever that is to you live a life of abundance for me if you're if you're anything like me and you're Mexican maybe Mexican American maybe you're an immigrant okay and you came from Mexico I'm pretty much an immigrant because I was made in Mexico but I was born here I was delivered here but I was made so the this the, the magic happened just to be respectful happened in Mexico but I was I came here my parents crossed the border and I was delivered here so I should have been born in Mexico but I was born here now my point is that I grew up speaking Spanish I didn't know English my parents only knew Spanish that's what they taught me I learned Spanish I didn't know English till six seven years old when I was six seven that's when I went to elementary school in a school full of uh, white people and that's when I learned I had to learn because I didn't know any English I only knew Spanish so they put me on they put me in special ed class then they put me in uh, ESL class because then they figured out wait I don't think this kid is uh, special ed I think this kid is just ESL like he doesn't know how to speak English that's his problem he's not slow slower than other kids in learning he's just that he doesn't understand English so if you don't understand English then you just can't uh, move as fast as you want to move, right? So that was my life. And growing up with um, Mexican parents, Mexican family, we grew up thinking that everything's gonna run out. Like everything's gonna run out, everything. So for example, like Syl wants, she's like, hey, boil some eggs. She wants two eggs, I'll boil her three eggs. And then she's like, why do we, why, I said two eggs. I'm like, yeah, if you don't need the third egg, just throw it away. All good, all good, I'll pay for it. That's why we work so hard, right? Right? I ordered panini. Uh, that's a chicken kebab, for those of you that don't know, it's a chicken shish kebab. I order a panini kebab, a chicken kebab, and I always get two sides of avocado, and I get extra rice, and then I get extra chicken. And everybody tells me like, why'd you get so much chicken if you're not gonna finish it? Why'd you get so much rice? You're not gonna eat all of it. Why don't you get, why'd you get some extra avocado? And I'm like, because when I order avocado and I get one, a lot of the times they give me a crappy avocado side. It's brown. It has like a bunch of roots and nasty brown shit. I don't wanna eat that avocado. That avocado is going in the garbage can. But I have a second avocado as a backup. If I don't need it, I throw it away. If I don't need the rice, finish it, I throw it away. I don't keep it for tomorrow. I like fresh food. Is there a problem with that? That's why I work hard. Chicken, I want extra chicken because sometimes they don't give me enough chicken. They say it's six ounces, but sometimes they give me four ounces and then what happens? And I'm stuck with the four ounces. No, why not just give me extra chicken and I'll eat the chicken that I want and the chicken that I don't want I'll share it with a co-worker, I'll give it to my dog, or I'll just throw it away. That's the way I think. And that's abundance. Abundance is when you could have not one, but maybe have two or three or four of the things. When you, I leave the fridge open on purpose. Why? Because it reminds me when I was a little kid, and my mom used to tell me, hey, close the fridge door because you're wasting electricity. And as a little kid, I loved the fridge. I loved opening the fridge and just looking at the milk, 
looking at the milk and looking at the ice cream, staring at the ice cream and staring at the orange juice because I just love staring at it because I didn't know what I wanted because I wanted all three of them. And I just wanted to stare at them so bad. And my mom would tell me, hey, you've been, it's been a minute, you're, the, the fridge, you're wasting electricity. Now what I do is when I leave, when I leave home from, to work or to the gym, whatever, I'll leave the fridge open just for fun just for fun and, and my little girl's like hey you left the fridge open I'm like yeah 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 cool opened it more all the way yeah I like it I leave the lights on all the time why because as a little kid I was always told turn off the lights Alberto turn off the lights turn them off you're wasting electricity isn't electricity to waste it to spend it what is money for to spend it or to keep it to get old and have money or to be young and drive Ferraris what what is it for so I like, if you're anything like me, you get pumped up. I grew up with a chip on my shoulder. Okay, I always had a chip on my shoulder. I always was told that you're not gonna do this, you're not gonna do that, you're an underdog, you suck, you're a wetback, you're a loser, you don't know how to speak English, and guess what? All those people are broke and I'm winning. Why? Because I don't give a shit what people think about and everything people tell me that I can't do, I do it anyways and I show them and it drives me. It drives me to be the number one. It drives me to be the best. So I think that you should, leave, should live a life of abundance. Live a life of abundance and stop settling because somebody else told you, you gotta settle, you can't, you can't have it all. That's a loser's mentality, so don't do that. Live a life of abundance. I'm talking too fast and I'm like, kind of saying things all over the place, but hey, leave the fridge open. Leave the lights on, get two avocados instead of one. I'm making my protein shake this morning, okay? And I'm supposed to have 50 grams of protein. That's a scoop and a half. Now that's, that's a scoop and, and a little bit more than a half. And you know what I tell my, I tell my housekeeper? Hey, just, 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 give me, just give me two scoops. At my assistant, two scoops. And they're like, well, you're only supposed to be eating a to having 50 grams of protein on your on your smoothie. Two scoops is 60. I'm like, who cares? You know, I'll down it, and then when I see a little bit left, I'll just spit it out. I'll throw it out. That's abundance, baby. So if you're listening to a coach or going to events where they're telling you, it's okay the way you are, you should tell them, Fuck